Stacey, have you ever seen anything like this? And can you get a sense of who's best prepared and perhaps who's not prepared? Yeah, this is, John, this is completely rewriting everything we know about the holiday season. And as we've seen, retailers have doubled their exposure in e-commerce literally overnight. So it's been a huge adjustment, not only for the consumer, but for the companies here. But I think the important thing in this holiday season is that the consumer wants what they want, how they want it. Meaning, for example, Target, you know, it's all about pick up in store. It's about drive up. Don't go in the store, have them bring it to you. It's about all the conveniences along with being safe. And I think those who can fulfill all those consumers' wants in a, in a low-touch, safe way, those are the winners here. And I think Target's right at the top of that list. Now, you say discounts aren't the driving factor this year. That seems to break like the cardinal rule of the holiday season. Isn't it always supposed to be about discounts? What is it about then? Is it about convenience? And if it's not about discounts, are the retailers going to be successful in breaking consumers of this habit of showing up and trying to go into the store to get goods? Yeah, so John, I've, I've been on many years with you talking about, you know, hey, are you going to be out at midnight chasing those doorbusters? And that's just not happening this year because it's it's not safe, first of all. And second of all, the retailers have incredibly lean inventories this year because they just didn't know what was gonna happen. So all the brands are telling us one thing, their margins are way up because they're selling less stuff, but at full price and investors are good with that. You've seen what the retail stocks have been doing. So I think for this year, that's very much the story. Higher margins, lower sales, lower traffic. And of course, all the online deals will be moving online. Will that be the new playbook when we return back to normal? I think absolutely not. What we normally see is retailers slip back into their old ways when things return to, to boom. Right, so Stacey, it's Deirdre. Given that you just laid out the scenario, what it's likely to look like this year, does Black Friday, Cyber Monday, do they mean anything this year, especially when we're seeing those discounts come earlier? And, you know, even Adobe has data out saying that we're going to have cyber months. People are planning to shop, or, or shop earlier and for longer. Absolutely, Deirdre, and that's been really intentional this year. So everybody from uh, Macy's to Walmart, they've all talked about that they started really early. They started at the end of October so that you can ease into the holiday, that there's no there's no stampede, there's no rush. And that's very intentful here. And also just in general, the deals aren't what they usually are, what they have been in the past years. So, um, you know, I think the consumer is going to have to be very careful picking and choosing their their deals. Um, but I think, yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's a lot less impactful this year. The concept of of Black Friday and, and Cyber Monday. It's it's really been a, a six-week holiday period. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.